Hi Culture Channel, I'm Rosanna Lee. I'm a registered dietitian, US and Canada trained. I'm here to talk to you about immune boosting foods today and we're gonna go through some of the recipes later on. But what's important right now is how to prevent yourself from getting cold and the flu, especially this winter season and particularly at this time when we have concerns about the coronavirus. So we're gonna talk about the immune system today and why is it so important? Well, immune system protects us from you know, foreign invaders or germs and it prevents us from getting sick. So a good healthy immune system means that we can prevent infections from happening and it also we can heal our wounds a lot faster and uh, it can just allow us to have enough energy to do, to do things on a day-to-day -day basis. With all that's happening right now with the coronavirus, it's more important than ever to focus on building our own immune system. So today I'm going to share with you a really quick, easy and simple recipe that you can bring anywhere with you and whip together in very little time. It's also very vibrant, it's nutritious and I think it's enjoyable. I think everybody's going to like it. So the first part of this really simple recipe is getting the balsamic chia seed vinaigrette down pat. So it's really simple. What I have here is some vinaigrette. Uh, we used about three tablespoons of vinaigrette. So I'm just gonna pour this into like a bowl. Make sure you have a bowl that's deep enough to hold all the fluids. There's gonna be some vinaigrette, some water, and then we have some chopped um, garlic as well as some, sea, uh, some sorry, Himalayan sea salt. And then all you're going to do afterwards is just stir it around and then you have your basic vinaigrette done. And lastly, we're going to add in the chia seeds. So it's up to you. Some people like to sprinkle it on top of the salad. Other people like to add it into their balsamic vinaigrette. So I'm just going to go ahead and add it into my balsamic vinaigrette. And that's it. And we're just going to stir that around and then that's the completion of your balsamic. So the great thing about this balsamic vinaigrette is it also has the chia seeds in there. So chia seeds are a great source of omega-3s uh, and omega-3s are really great in terms of protecting against uh, inflammation. So it's actually a natural anti-inflammatory. Uh, so we're just going to throw that into the uh, salad once the salad is done. So now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start making the main portion of the salad recipe. And this salad recipe has pretty much got a few things. So we have kale here. We have some chickpeas. These are canned chickpeas. You can use the regular dry chickpeas, except you will need to soak them in at least a night or two before so that it's nice and soft. We have here some onions, or you can use shallots. We have some garlic, which was also thrown in for the dressing. We have some mushrooms, some blueberries, and strawberries, and then some, uh, some sunflower seeds, as well as some hemp seeds. So we know that dark leafy greens are really good for us. It's a great source of vitamins and minerals. And then we also have some fruits in addition to that. So fruits, these berries are a great source of antioxidants, a lot of vitamin C uh, that's essential for fighting immunity. Uh, so I know, I know a lot of people are doing vitamin C supplementation that also works well as in addition to getting your vitamin C sources from natural foods. So first I'm gonna whip in the kale. So the kale, we already pre-cut them. So we cut the stems because they're a little bit harder to eat. But if you prefer a softer texture, I would recommend that you don't eat any of the stems and just start ripping some of the leaves off like so. So I'm just ripping. We're using kale today because it's a great source of uh, vitamin A as well as vitamin K. So vitamin A is important for not only for our eyes, but it's also good for the immune system. It has antioxidant properties, uh, protecting our immune system. And then vitamin K is actually important for blood clotting. So ensuring that our blood, our circulation is working well, is just as important in terms of immune health. So, so now it's just a matter of picking whichever ingredient you wanna add in. So what we're gonna do is add in the easy stuff. So I'm gonna add in some chickpeas right off the bat so we have a good mix. I'm gonna throw these chickpeas in there. Um, 
when you look at the nutrition facts at the back of the can, just make sure that it's 5% daily value or less uh, to ensure that it is a low sodium product. And we're just gonna throw that right in there and add some very good color in there. Chickpeas, uh, nice and beautiful color contrast right there is an excellent source of plant-based protein. A lot of people like to use chickpeas and things like hummus, so that's made primarily from chickpeas. It's an excellent source. For anybody who wants to be vegetarian or vegan, you're still gonna get some good protein from chickpeas, okay? Or if you'd like to get a nice mix, you can even add chickpeas with kidney beans or any other beans that you enjoy having as part of your super, super food salad. So the great thing about uh, having chickpeas is you're getting also a lot of protein. The chickpeas um, provide ample amounts and good protein allows our immune system to um, essentially be stronger. We're able to heal from wounds, we're able to recover and bounce back a lot faster and recover from injury. Uh, and protein is also essential just to maintain our own muscle mass. So if you don't eat enough protein, you might start losing protein. So it's just as important, not only for immune boosting properties, but looking at how we can maintain our natural muscle stores as well. So now we're gonna cut the onion. Okay. And then you can actually just start peeling away some of the layers on the surface. Okay, so the great thing about onions, again, is also very helpful for fighting infections and, and uh, supporting our immune system. It's got a lot of antioxidants. Um, and it has anti-inflammatory properties to help our bodies as well. So we're going to throw the onions in the salad, so we're going to add some of these. So next we're going to use, uh, we can put in some mushrooms. I like to have some extra mushrooms in here because the mushrooms give it a nice texture. It's also a good source of protein as well. There's a little bit of protein found in uh, mushroom. So you can easily just cut the mushrooms as you like. I'm going to cut off the tops here, okay, because that's usually something that uh, it's a little harder to eat. And then you can either cut them in slices or you can cut them in halves. So to your liking, okay, so I'm going to cut them in slices. Okay, you can have them big slices, you can have them thin slices, kind of thing. or you can do like tiny little slices like this. Okay. And if you have extra mushrooms, you can use it for another recipe as well. So. You sometimes can only need to use it as a garnish, you don't need too much, or if you really like the texture, you can add in as much to your liking. All right, so the next step that we have is adding in the berries. Okay, so we have here, we have blueberries, we have uh, strawberries, you can put raspberries, blackberries, any berries, or if you don't like berries or you're allergic to berries, you can add in any fruit that you'd like. All right, so with the berries, I'm just gonna leave them whole. If you wanna to prefer to cut them in half, you can. I'm just gonna put them whole in there. And strawberries, actually, a lot of people don't know that, but strawberries come from a flower. So uh, a lot of the fiber that you find in the strawberry is actually on the outer sides. It's actually coming from your seeds. So strawberries, really good source, not just as an antioxidant, but a good source of fiber as well. Okay, so you can definitely uh, boost up your fiber intake. So I'm gonna have that there. So half the strawberries. So right now, before it's being mixed, we have a whole bunch of ingredients in here. We got some vegetables, we have some kale, we have some berries, we have some chickpeas, getting some of that protein in there. And then we're gonna add in some of that balsamic vinaigrette. So good oils like olive oil and vegetable oil. It's a good source of vitamin E as well, which is very important. It helps with our skin protection. Our, our skin is our natural barrier um, against uh, foreign things. Uh, so it's, it's important to keep our skin healthy during this time, especially in the winter when it's really dry and it's really cold. So we have this here, okay? Uh, now I'm just gonna throw in some hemp seeds. So with hemp seeds, there could be like, you could put in one cup, you can put in half a cup. Uh, with the hemp seeds, we're just gonna throw it in there. It's to your liking. I prefer to use a half a cup or a full cup of it. And that automatically adds in some additional omega-3s. So you've got more omega-3s now. It's like a super powered uh, salad. Sunflower seeds, a uh, good source of vitamin E as well. And uh, these are pre-shelled out, so I would look for something like this so it's easier to uh, prepare your salad. So you're gonna throw that in there as well. Some healthy oils from these uh, sunflower seeds. And seeds also provide some protein. 
so we got the benefit of protein in here. All right, so this is pretty much a done salad. So here we have our dressing, our pre-made balsamic dressing that we did earlier. Okay, it's got the chia seeds in there. They're floating on top, don't worry about that. Okay, they tend to be doing that anyway. But it's gonna mix nicely and evenly in our salad, okay? So all of this beautiful stuff is gonna mix right in here. So I'm just gonna throw this in here and just kind of spread it out throughout. And if you want, you can clean the bowl using a spatula. I'm just gonna kind of portion it out like that, okay? You can use these, you have these here today. And you can just start mixing your salad. Need to put in a little bit more arm work in here. Okay. The more color you have in your diet, the better. You get more variety in terms of your vitamins and minerals, uh, especially when it comes to the key nutrition elements that we need, which is the protein, the vitamin A, the vitamin C, the vitamin E. And there you have it. Here's our super powered, supercharged salad, ready to go. Great for work, for school, or any other location where you need to pack a quick salad. It's easy to whip up, and as you can see, it's got beautiful texture and color, and it tastes amazing. So there you have it. We hope you enjoyed watching Culture Channel, and don't forget to follow us in the links below, as well as visit our website, culturemagazine.com. 